Hey guys, Thunder E here, and this video is all about installing Windows 10 on the new MacBook Pro 2016. A few things you need, of course, are MacBook Pro. You need a USB drive that has Windows 10 ISO file, and also a USB Type C dongle for extra USB ports. Now, it's pretty easy to actually get an ISO file for Windows 10. You need to download the Windows Media Tool. We'll have the link down for you below for the instructions, and make sure you set up and create an ISO file that would be saved on your USB flash drive. It's a pretty easy process and it will download the file, set it up for you, and you should be good to go. So that's all you need to do here. Again, the links for this are down in the description. Now, as I mentioned, you also need a USB dongle. This is one I have here from one by, uh, one by One, which has two USB ports and also has an Ethernet port, which is pretty great because you're going to need in Ethernet connectivity to download software uh, once you actually install Windows 10. And the other piece of software you need is Boot Camp, which is already on your MacBook Pro. So we have a MacBook Pro, and the first thing we want to do is actually go ahead and look for Boot Camp software. software. Basically, search for Boot Camp. Boot Camp Assistant shows up, and you can go ahead and select the software itself. Once that's done, you follow the instructions, and the first thing you want to do is look for that ISO file. It's connected via USB. It's a Kingston drive, which is what we used, and we can go ahead and select that. It's a very simple process. Now, we want to decide how much storage space we want, and since I'm going to be doing some gaming on this PC, I want more on the PC side than on the Mac side. So I'm going to do about 700 gigabytes in terms, but you can divvy it up whichever way you want as long as you have enough for windows installation you should be fine so you're going to go ahead and decide hit next it's telling me i need to connect a uh, power source just in case but you can do this without actually connecting um, your power source to this but it's always safe safer to do that just in case of power outages and that is pretty much it now at this point uh, what you're going to have here is that it's going to go through the process of setup and then it will launch straight into the Windows installation. So now at this point, what you're going to do is go through the Windows 10 installation steps, which is pretty nice and easy. So what you have here is uh, a really smooth, easy setup process. That's one thing I like about Bootcamp and allows you to go ahead and do the things you need to do. So uh, parts of this video are sped up just for time reasons so you can see the installation process because it doesn't take a minute to install Windows on any device, even the MacBook Pro itself. But you get the opportunity to install Windows here. And what I'm going to be doing in other videos, I'm going to show you some PC gaming uh, with the hardware. Again, our MacBook Pro is the top of the line, fully spec with the Radeon um, uh, R460, uh, also with 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now, our installation process should be done at this point, and we can go ahead and set things up and get Windows running all together. Now, uh, the one thing I will mention is that you're going to have to go ahead and go through your setup process. So you still now have to set up the PC as a Windows PC. Uh, so I've decided to name this a MacBook Pro, go through my setup process, and boom, voila, what I have now is a Windows machine running on uh, a Mac. Now, another thing to mention is that you're not gonna have your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, so you wanna go ahead and use that dongle, connect your Ethernet cable, so you have at least some Ethernet connectivity, install the rest of the bootcamp software and run your Windows updates. It's very empirical that you do that because you will not be able to use certain things. Now, the trackpad itself is one that you won't be able to use immediately. Also, getting drivers for the uh, graphics card, the AMD graphics card, updating your system and things like that. So you wanted to get all the updates that you need specifically. But uh, once this is done and once the updates run through, what you will have here is a fully functioning Windows machine running on the latest MacBook Pro. And if you're a Windows user like me, this is not a bad option. Of course, I had to switch over to the Lego um, Batman wallpaper, which is now, it's actually a, a 4K resolution is the max resolution I can get. So um, here is the AMD Radeon software. Just showing you some of the basics you get after installation. I didn't actually look for the software. It was all auto downloaded with the update. You can see the software information there. You can also see the system specs as well, knowing that this is running the R4 for uh, 
the 460 graphics card. 16 gigs of RAM is a quad core processor here uh, from uh, Intel. And you have the whole shebang here. You also have full functionality on the trackpad, uh, which is nice. And you have access to the Windows Store and all that stuff. So you've got full, a full PC setup here built into this. Uh, and also the trackpad works really well on this. Uh, again, the touch bar too, you do have your touch bar functionality, not full. So which means you have, of course, access to media keys, light keys, and things like that, as well as also the function keys. So you can switch to the function keys by hitting the function button. Overall, it's been an interesting process, really quick. I will say that it, it didn't take too long to set up Windows 10 on this machine. Stay tuned, we're gonna have a gaming video. We're gonna be running a couple of games here to showcase to you so you know how well the MacBook Pros handle, has to handle some gaming, as also even doing some editing, you know, um, with Adobe Premiere and things like that. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, let me know. Don't forget to like and share this video. Favor this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification icon next to the subscription button so you can get our notifications. And this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment. Thank <laughs> you.